Woo. Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen, it is freezing out. And that is why we got the brand new Otter Thermaltech Pro Vortex 6 to 8 man tent. Let's check it out. Oh, super spacious. I love the thermal layer. I can't wait to get the heater going and get my beard unfrosted. See, look at that. <laughs> We're gonna be out here trying to target some really big pike. I brought some super mega baits with me today that I am very happy about that I caught uh, here at this lake not long ago. We got some jumbo freaking perch that I'm gonna be offering those pike. And you know what? There's always a chance of big walleye, so we got big smelts and uh, just your classic big, big Z. Uh, regular insulted minnows, so. This has been so cool to watch. Really big, really big walleye. Check it out, that little perch that I put out. We're, uh, we're gonna stay in here for a little bit and then we're gonna set up uh, a tip up with a nice big jumbo. So we can get to that or maybe just a smelt. I don't know, we'll see. Yes! He finally took it! Oh, that's a nice big walleye. It took a while. Whoa, whoa. Come here. Come here. He looked big on film. He feels big. I was a little scared. I had to get the camera rolling. Oh, yes! Oh, that is a nice Lake of the Prairies walleye. He played with that for so freaking long. Oh, look at the nice one on that. Oh, that was so freaking cool. I'll show you guys what I did there in a minute. Just give me, just hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's way too hyped right now. Huh. Woo! Not a big pike what we were after, but Nice big walleye is pretty awesome too. I'll take that. Whew. All it is, steel leader, little spinner, and a number six treble. Now, you kinda wanna make some slits in the fish. This gets the scent out. Just as many as you can while the fish is still intact. There we go. This will get the scent out nice. See? That looks pretty good to a fish. Now what you're going to want to also do is squeeze out the air. The air with inside the bait is going to prevent it from falling down. Now that is done. Take your bait. Kind of hook it right in the middle. So it's sitting really flat. Um, fish 
I learned this from Aaron Weeb on Kana Angling. Thank you, Aaron. Please come back to the community. We miss you. Um, fish have a tendency to eat from the front. So if you notice from that walleye, he was circling for a bit and found a perfect chance to just come in from the front like that and just swallowed it whole. And it probably comes from the fins and whatever dorsal fins, they fold back nicely when they eat the fish. It just makes sense. So let's drop it down. See if we can get a nice big pike come in. We're gonna set it, set up a tip up off with one of the bigger perch. We wanna go big or go home. So yeah, let's get back in the water. We got a tip up. We got a tip up. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got one. Not huge. Nice one. Oh. Actually, a decent pike. What we were trying to go for. All day, downsized, smacked it. Come on. Not bad, not a bad bike. <laughs> Pike on tip ups. <laughs> oh man, that's a sweet one. One last look, get him back. It's pretty cool, like tip ups give you, you know, a pretty good sized fish. This one's, you know, probably about 20, 29, 28 inch pike. He's pretty good size, like nothing crazy, but. Woohoo! <laughs> that was cool. Hit him hard. He did not like that. There we go. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yes. <laughs> and huge. Put him back. Let's get down there. Try again. Oh. Nice little pike. He came in really aggressive for that. Super aggressive. <laughs> that was so funny. We got another flag up. That's exciting. The bite is on. Is it going to be a nice pike? Or walleye? I don't know. We just had that tiny little pike come in for that jigging wrap. Okay, here we go. Flag is up. GoPro, start recording. Feels decent. Feels decent. Oh yeah, decent pike. I changed the depth. I was over there before, 20 feet. 
Uh, I, I noticed that pikes stopped coming into the uh, underwater cam. So I knew right away that I had to put this into shallow water. I moved it to 10 feet. I'm on a shelf right now, kind of where I'm at. It's 22. Oh, this is, this is a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a nice bike. Could be 30, I'm not sure. Make sure he's in frame. Move the, the thing around there. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a really nice picture of him. <laughs> that's a sweet pike on the tip up. That's two really good ones today on the tip ups, eh? These sure really, like, these tip ups, like, really do catch you big, big pike, to be honest. Like, I don't know why, but uh, they do. So he swallowed that one. We're gonna have to go back to the tent and uh, get him unhooked here. Right on the chin. Ooh, 31 and a half inch pike. That's a nice pike. Get him back. Oh yes. That was freaking sweet. Whew, that was the biggest one on the day, eh Bella? Biggest pike of the day on the tip up. Good girl. Good girl. What a cool day. First day using the Otter Pro Resort. Such a cool tent. Absolutely worth all the money that it is marked on as. Um, really cool day as well. Tip up fishing for bigger size pike. Every pike that we caught on the tip up today was of good size. That walleye that came in this morning too for that big perch. You know, he was looking at it for a while and he didn't know if he wanted it or he was just deciding when to take it, when the right time to take it was. It was so cool. There was a lot of cool things that happened today. Lake of the Prairies, coming back again tomorrow. Absolutely I am staying at a, a friend's place and we're gonna get him on the ice and his wife tomorrow too. So uh, maybe just make this like a two-parter kind of thing. I'm not too sure. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna throw some tip ups and some big baits again tomorrow. Get Tyler and his wife maybe on the underwater camera. And uh, yeah, have a great day, woo!